In the early 1950s, she worked as a secretary at Texas Bank and Trust. She attained the position of the executive secretary, the highest position open at the time to women in the industry. It was difficult to erase typos made by early electric typewriters, which slowed work. She wasn't efficient at typewriting. She was forced to use a new typewriter model. The typewriter had sensitive key triggers and a carbon ribbon instead of one made of fabric. Therefore, the number of typos increased. And when she tried to use an eraser to correct the mistakes, carbon ink would smear all over the page. To make extra money, she used her talent painting holiday windows at the bank. Then she witnessed an artist never corrects by erasing, but always paints over the error. Seau she decided to use what artists use. She put some white tempera water-based paint in a bottle and took her watercolor brush to the office. She used it to correct her mistakes. She secretly used her white correction paint for five years, making some improvements with help from her son's chemistry teacher in Dallas. Co-workers frequently sought her paint out. She eventually began marketing her typewriter correction fluid as Mistake Out in 1956. The name was later changed to Liquid Paper when she began her own company. This story is about Betty Nesmith Graham, a woman inventor who is famous for the invention of liquid paper. Don't think hard of an invention. The key is to ask yourself this question wherever you see and hear something. Which of these can I apply to my situation?